my beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're talking about a drugstore lipstick these aren't incredibly new they came out in fall of 2022 so less than a year ago but for those of us here in the beauty YouTube review world anything that's like more than a month old really doesn't feel new but as far as L'Oreal as a brand goes they don't have as high of a new release turnover rate as somebody like a ColourPop or a lot of indies that are coming out with several new products a year and several collections a year. Brands like L'Oreal tend to go the more slow and steady route. We don't see new things every single month from them. So for L'Oreal, this is new. For the rest of us, not really. But I do specifically want to talk about these because this is a product that I purchased one on a whim a couple months ago and didn't really think too much about, didn't really wear that much. It was just sort of, I was trying out some new formulas and this was in the mix. But then it sort of came back to me because L'Oreal sent all 12 shades to me. It reignited my interest in this product and I really like it when I can give you full collection lip swatches. And I also really like being able to talk about drugstore products, especially one like this that is a little bit pricey for the drugstore. These are going to be anywhere from $10 to $14 a piece, depending on which retailer you go to. These are priced at $13.99 at Ulta. However, L'Oreal is a brand that goes on sale a lot on the Ulta site, and you can apply the Ulta coupons to them because they're not a prestige brand. However, you can find these for around $9.99 at Target, Amazon, so it's just going to fluctuate depending on the retailer. But I like showing a lot of drugstore products because this is something that's going to be accessible to a wider variety of people. For example, I live in a town that doesn't have a Sephora, so I know not all of us can go walk into a Sephora and see a Fenty lipstick or a Smashbox lipstick or whatever it is in person, but most of us have access to a drugstore, at least here in the States. I know it's different for my friends who are watching out of the U.S., but in general, I like that drugstore releases are more accessible to a wider range of people, and I do think you know, spoiler alert, that this is a really, really nice product. So I have a lot of reasons that I'm making this video, even if it is late in the game as far as reviews go. And hopefully it will be helpful to somebody somewhere. Before we get into the lip swatches, let's talk a little bit about the claims for this product. This says that it lasts up to 16 hours for an all-day matte finish that does not look flat. Mm, 16 hours is kind of pushing it. Saturated shades that flatter a variety of skin tones. I definitely think there's something for everyone as far as style and skin tone goes here, so I'll agree with that one. Color doesn't smudge, bleed, migrate, or feather. I'm not somebody that has a ton of problems with lipstick bleeding into my lip lines, but for me, this has not done that, so I guess true. And it also says that it's infused with hyaluronic acid. A slim bullet allows for precise application, and it leaves lips feeling comfortable and looking fuller all day. Comfortable, yes. Fuller, probably a reach for me, but it does look good. Now, I will say this claims to be a matte product. It definitely is more like a satin finish for me, which I like because I have dry skin and dry lips, so a satin finish is that right in between as far as wear time and comfort. And I think you can tell just looking at this shade that I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is definitely my favorite shade. It's called Le Wood Nonchalant. You can tell that there's a little bit of shine. It has more of a satiny look than a more powdery or flat matte look. So overall, as usual, I think the claims are reaching for the stars, but overall pretty accurate. Before we get into the lip swatches, I want to show you a close-up look at the outer packaging of this product. 
and then we'll jump straight into some lip swatches and arm swatches. As the product claims mentioned, this has a long slim bullet. It has the look of a soft touch matte, but it's not that stickiness like, for example, a NARS packaging would be. It's nice and smooth. It definitely looks like a luxurious packaging. It's not super heavy like a luxury, actual luxury price lipstick would be, but it feels nice overall. I think the components look really elegant. I'm a fan of this packaging. It's probably a little bit more mature than what I typically, if I was going to design my dream lipstick, would choose. But I think it looks really nice, really luxurious, and a lot of people are going to be comfortable with this packaging. So overall, I think it's great. There are color-coded stickers on the bottom. If you pick up more than one shade, these are color coded. These do have shade names and numbers. The bullet itself is a slim twist up lipstick. Has a little R printed on there. I know this one's messed up because I've been wearing this color quite a bit. I'm assuming that stands for Riche. This does seem to have a faint sort of scent to it. It's barely detectable but it has that sort of soapy smell to it. It's not perfumey. It's not florally like some really fragrancy drugstore lipsticks. You know what I'm talking about? They have that like fake rose perfume smell. It's not like that. It's definitely just like a soft, clean scent, a little bit of soapy vibes, but it's not off-putting. It is there. It's barely noticeable. I always try to mention fragrance because I know that some people are either allergic to fragrance or just don't like fragrance in their makeup. So this has a little subtle something going on, but I think it's negligible. Now let's jump into the lip swatches. I'm going to show you each one of these 12 shades on my lips and then we'll do a full arm swatch so you can see them all side by side. I do want to point out that some of these lipsticks look and feel more flat matte like some of the shades feel more matte than others and this shade confident is definitely one of the more matte feeling ones for me i think you can also kind of tell a difference just visibly how the finish looks now confident was a more bubblegum pink this admirable shade is definitely more of a neutral mauve light pink this is the one that I think a lot of my paler than me friends are going to like, especially because it has that very neutral undertone with a more of a white base. The shade Independent. I know it looks like it's spelled wrong. Some of these have, I guess, a more French spelling. So I triple checked them. Trust me, this is how they spelled it. Independent is definitely a little bit of a warmer pink nude whereas Admirable was a more neutral, more cool leaning pink nude. Nonchalant is the only really brown based color in this entire collection. Of course, it's my favorite. This is the one that I'm wearing throughout the talking portions of the video, and it's definitely the one that I've reached for off camera the most. Next up, we have a very mid-tone pinky mauve. I think this is going to be a very well-loved shade. This is going to be in that pinky neutral type of comfort zone that a lot of people are comfortable in. The rest of the shades from here on out are quite a bit bolder and more saturated. This Ambition shade is a beautiful, rich berry color. This is going to look great across a lot of different skin tones. This is my third favorite of the shades. It kind of goes back and forth between second and third place, but I think this is going to be another crowd pleaser and a universally flattering shade. Next up, we have a much bolder choice. This one is called Irreverent, and this is a really bright electric coral. Definitely a very summertime shade. Probably not the most flattering color for me personally, but again, I think that this is a really fun warm weather shade. Next, we have Activist. This is my other top three favorite. Goes back and forth between that second and third place for me. When I want something brighter and bolder, I like these pinky red shades because I do think that these are, again, very flattering and they look great with a lot of different eye looks and a lot of different makeup looks. 
L'Oreal describes this shade as a cool, dark berry. I definitely think this is more of a fuchsia than a berry, at least on me. Keep in mind, these are going to look different depending on the pigmentation of your lips and how the colors interact with your own natural skin tones and skin depth. Determination is a more orangey red. I typically don't gravitate towards shades like this, but this is so well balanced. It's not too orange to where it makes my neutral skin look sickly. It's just the right tone and then we have avant-garde which is a really classic mid-tone red this is what i think of like a classic hollywood type of red color another shade that i think you really can't go wrong this is going to look good on pretty much everybody no matter what and then the last shade is the vampiest of the bunch this is dominant and you can tell this one is a little bit more patchy than the others. This is very common for deeper lip colors, but overall I do think that this still looks really good. So definitely not mad at it, just sort of pointing that out for the sake of the review. Now I want to show you all the colors side by side swatched on my arm. This way you can tell those little intricacies, the similarities and differences that it's hard to compare when you're just seeing one lip swatch at a time. For the sake of being orderly, I've just labeled these with their numbers, but I will list the number and the full shade name in the description box and on the lip swatches for you. I really like these lipsticks. I think the packaging is really nice. It gives that feeling of luxury, but for a $10 price tag. And I think that the formula is doing sort of the same thing for me. It feels comfortable. It has that satiny matte finish. It's definitely not completely transfer proof. This is the type of thing that it's not going to last 16 hours for me. I do need to touch up throughout the day, especially after eating or drinking. I find that these lipsticks do have a nice balance between comfort and longevity. The color that I've been wearing throughout the talking portions of this video is the shade Nonchalant, and this is by far my favorite. When I mentioned previously that I purchased one of these for myself, this was the shade that I bought. It's really the only brown-based neutral, and those are always my favorites. But after trying all of the shades, I have to say I also really like this pinky red shade called Activist. I think this one looked really nice on me and I can see myself going for something a little bit brighter and bolder like this, especially in these warmer months. I got some fun vacations coming up, maybe a cute little date night type of look if I want to do something fun and summery. I definitely can see myself reaching for this Activist shade for something like that, but my day-to-day -day is going to be nonchalant. I'm just embracing the basic, this is what I like to wear. So that's just, it is what it is. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about this lipstick. Have you tried it? Do we have any of the same colors? Which shade was your favorite? I always love to hear what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I love that. <laughs> love that for me and you and any of us who want to wear it. Okay. <laughs> I do not like this color on me. I never like these bubblegum pink colors on me. It looks so good on some people, and I am not those people. I'm just not. All right. Okay. All right. Got it. Got it. Good. Editing Amanda. Listen up. All righty then. Indomitable. What a word. That's a dollar word right there. <laughs> Anybody ever have a teacher that said that type of thing? A dollar word? Ooh, am I gonna run out of battery? Honestly, I really like this one too. I would say this is probably like my third favorite. And this would look really pretty with a lot of the shadows in Flora Story. My brain's just always thinking that way. Halfway, halfway done. It's coral. Oh my goodness, please don't die battery. Please don't die battery. Last one. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. It's just for fun. If you know me, you know I love a matching nail moment. I like to match my nails to my makeup, but how about a matching earring and sweater moment? Yeah. How satisfying is that? These are from my Etsy shop. Go check out my Etsy shop, by the way. Thank you. I love purple, purple sparkles. Okay. I'm getting distracted. All right. I'm sorry. Sorry. I apologize for who I am as a person. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I am what I am. Focus, focus. 
Oi, oi, oi. Whatever. Off track again. Come on. Rain it in. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, save your Ulta coupons, man. Maybe when these go on a sale, you could stack a coupon. You could pick up a couple of shades. I think this is a good investment. I think this is a good staple, long-term, there-for-you type of product. All right, I'm going to go start editing and probably need a little late afternoon caffeine boost, you know? If you've ever been there, you know what I mean. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'm always just happy that you're here. I'm happy to see you. I hope that you have a fantastic day. And, you know, not every day is going to be fantastic. That's normal. That's all right. We're making it through. We're making it through together. And the most important takeaway from this video is that I love your face. Now we'll see you real soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye.